What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Daily Psalm, where every day we're going through one of the psalms. Here we are on day 98 for the third time. Hallelujah. Psalm 98. And it doesn't mention here who wrote this. It just says a psalm. Likely David. And before we get started, let me go ahead and preach the gospel. Everyone is going to stand before God for judgment one day. And anyone who hasn't received forgiveness of sins, anyone who hasn't received the free gift of salvation is going to be judged and thrown into the lake of fire for the second death of body and soul. This first death is just the body. The second death is body and soul. God requires perfection in order to inherit eternal life, in order to be with Him in His kingdom. None of us are perfect. We all sin and fall short of the glory of God. There's nothing we can do to earn eternal life. There's nothing we can do to earn a right standing with God. He is holy, and he his kingdom is a kingdom of righteousness, and he's not going to allow any sin or unrighteousness in it. We have to be made perfect. And we can only be made perfect through the one who was perfect, Jesus Christ. Came 2,000 years ago. God, not the Father, but the Son, born as a human, faced temptations just like us, but lived a perfect life. He did nothing wrong. And although he did nothing wrong and didn't deserve to die, he didn't deserve any punishment. He died for us. That death that we deserve for our sins in the lake of fire, he died for us on the cross. So through him, that death is taken away from us and we receive eternal life. Through him, our sin is taken away and we receive his perfection, his righteousness. Repent and believe the gospel. The word repent means to have a change of heart or a change of mind. Most of the time we see repent, it means to um, turn from your wickedness and turn to God. Follow Him. Do what's right. Repent and believe the gospel. If you believe Jesus died on the cross for your sins and rose three days later, and you call out, call out to Him to forgive you, to save you, and you truly mean it, he will forgive you, he'll give you the Holy Spirit, and he'll give you eternal life. The Holy Spirit leads us to, changes our heart and leads us to follow him. The Holy Spirit also gives us wisdom, discernment, and, and understanding in the Bible and in many things. He'll give you the Holy Spirit if you truly mean it. He'll give you the Holy Spirit. He'll forgive you, he'll give you the Holy Spirit, and he'll give you eternal life. The Bible says we can't even imagine what God has prepared for those who love him. Repent and believe the gospel. Give your life to Jesus Christ today. There's not much time left. Now let's get into Psalm 98. Oh, sing to Yahuwah a new song. And so here we go with the new song again. And according to Revelation 14, it says, Only the 144,000 could learn the new song. So other than those who are already in heaven. The... Only the 144,000 can learn the new song. And we see the new song in uh, Revelation 5, Revelation 14, Psalm 144, uh, Psalm 140, I mean Psalm 40, Psalm 40 uh, here in Psalm 98, and in some other places. Oh, sing to Yahuwah a new song. For he has done wonderful things. Hallelujah. His right hand and his holy arm have gained the victory for him. So his hand and his arm, those are references to Jesus. His right hand and his holy arm have gained the victory for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahuwah has made known his salvation. He has revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. He's made known his salvation. Jesus is the salvation of God. Jesus is the righteousness of God. And not only is not only is every eye going to see him, people are going to see the rapture. People are going to see the resurrection. We read here in Psalm 40. I 
I waited patiently for Yahuwah, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the miry clay, and he set my feet upon a rock, making my footsteps firm. Uh, speaking about his kingdom, that's the rock. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and trust in Yahuwah, trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. Yahuwah has made known his salvation. He's going to make himself known. He has revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. Jesus is the righteousness of God. And he's going to be revealed. He's going to be, every, like, every eye will see him, as the Bible says. He has remembered his loving kindness and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. Hallelujah. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the Yeshua of our God, the salvation of our God, meaning they're going to see him, but also see his deliverance, his, uh, the rapture. He has remembered his loving kindness and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Hallelujah. Shout joyfully to Yahuwah, all the earth. Break forth and sing for joy and sing praises. Sing praises to Yahuwah with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of the melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Shout joyfully before the King, Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Let the sea roar and all it contains. And so keep in mind that water represents people. So the sea, I believe, would represent the world. Let the sea roar and all it contains. The world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Again, this is speaking about people, the, the rivers, I believe, is speaking about nations. Let the nations clap their hands. Or the people of the people of the nations. Let the mountains sing to sing together for joy. And uh so I believe mountains also represent kingdoms, so it's the people in the kingdoms, just like in the I'm just looking at the the language, the, the I don't know the word for the literature used here. Um, it says, let the sea roar in all it contains. The world and those who dwell in it. The sea does is representing, I believe, is representing the world, the people of the world. Let the sea roar in all it contains. The world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Speaking about but groups of uh, rivers or groups of people. Nations. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy. And the mountains also represent kingdoms. Speaking about the people of the nations. Let the sea roar in all it contains, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing for joy. Sing together for joy. Before Yahuwah. For he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity or uprightness is what the footnote says. Hallelujah. When he comes and makes his salvation known, he's also going to be, make himself known through judgment. That's when he comes to judge the world. That's when, that's when the sixth seal, the greatest earthquake in the history of the world happens. That's when it all goes down. Let's be ready, brothers and sisters. Let's be right with God. Let's overcome. Let's walk in all His ways and serve Him with all our heart. 
Let's do his will and everything. Let's be ready. Let's serve. Let's uh, serve him with all our heart. Let's stay in prayer. Stay in the word. Let's stay focused on God and do his will in all things. Endure to the end. No matter what. And I preached the gospel in the beginning. If you haven't given your life to Jesus, just turn to him. God just wants us to humble ourselves and seek him. Humble ourselves. Ask him to save us. Ask him to forgive us. And begin to follow him. That's all he wants. He just wants us to trust in him and to follow him. And to turn to him for our salvation. Repent and believe the gospel. Give your life to Jesus Christ today. That's the end of uh, Psalm 98. Thank you guys for tuning in. Love y'all. Shalom.